What is up everyone? We are back with Mars Horizon and we are starting off episode 6. We left off on research, starting research on payload comsat. And so, we will go ahead and, and go to the next month. Well, first we'll go ahead and look at our... We do want to get the crude moon landing prior to the Venus orbit, so we'll go ahead and to the next month. And then the one following that, and now our commsat research is done, but we can also go ahead and build the crude moon landing vehicle. We will need a large launch pad, but we can go ahead, I believe, either research that now if we don't already have it in our buildings. Yeah. And the good thing is it's only 3,000 science points or research source science points. And so we should get that in the next two months and hopefully have it built before the moon landing vehicle is ready to and our lab on our base is now complete so our research has slowed so it's taken a few more months but we should have it in this next month or the one after that there we go, the large launch pad is complete, and now we can start more research, but before that, we'll go ahead and see what the cost is on the large launch pad. Let's see if we can go ahead and get that placed. And it is within our budget, so we'll go ahead and get that set down somewhere, possibly near here. Yeah, it seems like over here, it's too large for this area. So we'll go ahead and place it right here. We don't get any bonus for that, but we can't really help it because there's nowhere else we can actually put it. So here will be good. And that'll take one year to complete. For research, now we can either start researching one of these in Era 3 or start some Era 3 rockets or are we in era three yet yeah we are in era three now in here let's see are there any other buildings we can build that we want yet don't really care about build time it's not a huge thing we don't really want the tier two astronauts because we're gonna wait for the tier three So for now, we'll go ahead and start off with building Mission Space Station in Era 3. And then after that, we'll go ahead and research some vehicles. Let's go ahead and look at our request. Earth Oceans. We have Heat Shield Analysis. Solar Wind Monitoring. Solar Observatory. And Orbital Radio. So the two that give us the most research are the Solar Observatory and the Earth's oceans. I think we're going to go with the Earth's oceans. It is a little ambitious. And the task requirements will be increased, but we have an increased reward for support. It's the same as the science in here, but should be good. We do have, actually, commercial satellite is probably beneficial now because we do need the money first. And if either one of these are still available after one of our missions can conclude, we will begin that. But we're going to go ahead and plan a commercial satellite now first. Two of these, three of these cost 518. One of them cost 259, but there was reduced payload reliability, so I think we're going to stick with the standard with the 99% payload reliability. Even though it is 518, we only have to wait about another, well, 
first we're going to want to get this built, a Venus orbit. A company specializing in life celebration services has approached your agency requesting that your upcoming commercial satellite include a small additional payload compromising pet ashes. Hmm, well, we will get paid 500000 says there is a possibility the public will react negatively. Yeah, but it's 500000 I don't know how to accept that. Didn't seem like we didn't see any negative react reaction, so that's good. Keep going along. We have another budget review, but we do not make it to tier 9 for our budget reviews, which is okay. And we still need a little over 200,000 more to complete the Venus orbit. Do we have it? Oh no, we're shy by 3,000. We'll have to go to the next month. Okay, now we have enough for the Venus orbit, so we're going to go ahead and build that and get that started building. And we're going to need, I believe, 518,000 for the commercial satellite. We'll try and save on the the, pay, or the um, boosters and upper stages on the commercial satellite just so we make some extra money we don't waste any and since it is going to give us money so the less we use the more we'll have at the end so our crew that goes to the crewed moon landing the benefit of this rocket will make sure they have zero recuperation time so we can immediately put them back into another rocket if we wanted to once they come back so we get to select our crew we probably need to hire a few more currently we have this guy and let's go ahead and look at the launch reliability the launch reliability is 88% so he would not be a bad one to have <clears throat> to increase it and if we get the Excuse me, electrician will have each task with an extra power. So we'll go ahead and hire him. These only provide increased retirement age. But this guy will have an extra reward if the mission is a success. So we'll go ahead and hire him. And we'll hire this guy for just a little added launch reliability. And so we're going to assign all of these four people. So we have Declan Fuchs, Umeji Lombardi, Arnav Agosti, and John Akita. We're going to go ahead and confirm them to launch. So now our launch reliability is at 98%. So we're going to go ahead and set our training focus for research. And we still need to wait for our launch pad to complete, but that'll complete in the next couple of months. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and can begin building our payload for the commercial satellite. And we'll go to our next event. We have reached Era 3, Mars and Beyond. The race to Mars begins. Landing human on Mars is the ultimate milestone for our agency, and achieving it first must be our primary long-term goal. Getting there will be our greatest technological challenge, and we'll need to gain plenty of mission experience over the following decades before we're ready for it. But with your leadership, we can make, a, can make humanity a multi-planetary species. And so now the race to Mars screen is unlocked. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so this shows our experience. This is our expertise, which will, the higher this is, will increase our payload reliability and crew capacity and power. And this shows our preparation. 
shows you're at 0% for everything, but it also shows none of the other nations have any percent yet either, because they haven't even unlocked it yet, which is good that we're ahead. So we're going to go ahead and look at our research. So first, we're going to go ahead and get some of these mm, boosters or upper stages first. 860, 688, it's 55%, this one's 70. This one's not a whole lot more, so we're going to go ahead and start off with that one. And then next month we should have our large launch pad complete. Yes, there we are. A large launch pad is a requirement to send the largest vehicles and heaviest payloads into space. And it allows the launch of heavy rockets. Which means now we can go ahead and set a launch date. So we can stick with the 20% bonus here or waste an extra several months, five months to get to the next launch window, which would only give us an extra 5%. So we're going to go ahead and set the date from February, and if it has bad weather conditions, we'll go ahead and move it to July. We're going to go ahead and confirm that for the crude moon landing. We do have a couple of requests on Venus for Venusian photography. on Mars for an impact analysis and atmospheric sensors, but we currently don't have any available missions slots, so we're going to have to just keep going. And now one of our astronauts praises Buzzcore. He said we had his back throughout, and they, yes, this was the one where someone said he could be a could be a spy, but since we had their back, we've now gotten 300 support for it, which is good. Our commercial satellite payload is now complete. Minus 15% launch reliability for level 0 vehicle parts. That means we'll have to select parts that obviously are not level 0. But it would give us a decreased 50% build time, but the build time isn't a huge concern. So do we... Oh, and we don't have any that are not level 0. So, we're going to go ahead and select the highest... We'll select the Saturn II, that's a rather low cost, or lower cost. But since we selected the Saturn 2, the only one we can select along with that is the Saturn 5. So we'll go ahead and see if there's a different cost. But the Saturn 2 does have the highest launch reliability, but only by a couple of points. So we'll go ahead and look at the Titan 2. This would give us, if we used our Delta rocket that we've used before, would bump our launch reliability up to 96%. And if we use the four supplementary boosters, it'll only increase the cost by a little over 300,000, which isn't much in terms of getting us to 99% launch reliability. So we're going to go ahead and select those. And we're already at 99% payload reliability, so we can reduce the time by increased cost, reduce the cost by decreased support, decrease the time by decreased support, support, but none of these really seem to be beneficial, so we're going to just go ahead and confirm that, and we're going to have to wait till we have the money, which should be in the next couple of months. And our Venus orbit vehicle is complete. And the optimal and suboptimal windows will be reversed. So we're going to go ahead and set the training for the Venus orbit. First we're going to go ahead and look at it. We have 90% payload and 95% launch. 
So we're gonna go ahead and with support this time since for the crude moon landing we selected research or science training. So now we're gonna select support training and looks like the only available optimal window for close to nine months would be there so we're going to see if we can launch next month we're going to go ahead and confirm that and now yeah, next month we should have the money to complete the funding and we have a budget review this month as well we're still short on tier 9 so we're going to have to just keep going we have our research complete. We also have now the money, but we are also a go for our Venus orbit launch. And we are now going to start the mission for this. It looks like sunny skies for mission control. Launch day for abundance, January 1968. Abundance with its four supplementary boosters. And we have adequate conditions which will help. With only 1% critical failure and a 1% negative event. So we're going to go ahead with. Five, that. four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. Liftoff looks good. And we have a good launch. Stayed in the neutral zone, which is okay. We didn't have any positive event, but that's all right. So our Titan II booster goes to level four, and our Agena upper stage goes to level one. And now we're in phase one of Venus orbit. Enter Venus transfer orbit. So we need three navigation and three thrust, and we're going to lose a thrust every turn. So we probably don't want to use it till the end. And we'll need three more of each to be able to get the bonus. So we're going to start off with here, comms, data, and then we're going to also get our navigation. So that will put us at 3, 3, and 2 with 3 electricity left. In the case of a negative event. And our signal attenuation test was good. Next, our infrared spectroscopy. Ooh, it was close. It was only 3%. And last in this one, our Doppler track. And so we'll need one more for here so that we'll have enough for two sets of these so we can get the bonus for the thrust. So we'll need a couple more electricity, is what we're going to do to finish off that. So we get the two electricity and then we do the infrared spectroscopy. And oh, I was close for the bonus. So we should be able to finish it off this time. We'll go ahead and get three more navigation. And then we'll use the final two for our thrust. And we'll have an extra electric or power left over in case anything goes wrong. I get almost all like there. With the Doppler tracking. 
and then we'll do two calculated thruster burns. There's the first one. And then the second one. And there we go for phase one of getting our payload to Venus, Venus orbit. And now we can go ahead and start building our vehicle. And we can select new research. So for researching that one rocket, we got one Mars expertise. And now for research, I think we're going to go ahead with the, hmm, do you want to build the payload for, or start reaching the payload, the vehicles, or the building? It would be helpful to get level 3 astronauts, but it's not necessary. So first, as we research an upper stage, we're going to research one of these boosters. So that one's come with 90%, but it's 1,204,000. This one's 60%, it's only 688. So this one seems to be a good middle ground, so we're going to head and start with the Atlas 3 booster research. And it only costs 960, so it should be done in a couple months. And this next month, we will start off with our Kruger Moon landing launch. the mission. Akhenaten, February 1968. So we only have a 1% chance of critical failure, which we do not want since we have four of our astronauts on board. So we're going to go ahead and continue with this launch. Five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. off oh did we get no we are one percent short of the bonus event but our Saturn 1b and our Saturn 4b both go to level one and now for phase one of the crude moon landing perform translunar injection so we need three comms, three navigation, and three thrust at minimum. So we're going to go ahead and start off and get our, it looks like every turn we'll lose one thrust. So we don't want to get any thrust till the end. So we're going to, and we're going to need some extra comms for not only the bonus, but to be able to get the thrust to purchase it, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and get one of the, the comms. And since we have four crew, we can also use two of the crew to get comms as well. And then we'll use one power and one crew to get two navigation, one comms, and two data. And the next turn we can use the two data to get three navigation, one comms. And all 
of these are looking good. And we have successfully completed all those tasks. And so now since we have two data that we don't need, we can use that two data to get three navigation, which will put us to our bonus level. And will put us double what we need for here. And it should be able to get us enough to where we can go ahead and now complete the, all we need and the bonus. Trajectory optimization is a go. And then next we'll have two controlled burns. The first one being good. And the second one being good as well. Which means we can complete phase one of the crude, or phase one for lunar landing. So now we have to achieve lunar orbit. But I think we're going to go ahead and sign episode 6 off right here. But make sure to tune in next episode for episode 7 when we finish the lunar orbit, land on the moon, and then also get our astronauts back home safely. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you next time on Mars Horizon.